In this question we're given two triangles and we're told that the area of both triangles is the same and we're asked to calculate x. So we begin by finding an expression for the area of both triangles. Now for triangle 1, when you know two sides and an angle contained within them, then the area is given by a half a times b times sine of the angle. So A and B are the two sides, and A is the angle. So for triangle 1, the area is a half. X times X, which is X squared, times by sine of the angle, which is 30. So we will leave it like that just for the moment. Now triangle 2 is just a fairly routine rectangle triangle. So the area is just a half base times height. So this has got an area of a half base times height and that's an expression for its area. So because the areas are the same we can set an equation up as follows. So a half x squared sine 30 must equal a half x minus 2, x plus 1. Now, my first instinct is to cancel off the halves by times it by 2. So therefore, those halves cancel off. I can then work out sine 30, which is a half. So therefore, a half x squared equals this expression here which I'll expand. So x squared, a minus 2x plus an x is minus x, minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. So the equation is a half x squared equals x squared take away x minus 2. And then the times by 2, so the half cancels off, so I get x squared equals, I have times by 2 to cancel the half, so I get a 2x squared minus a 2x, minus a 4. I'll then rearrange to make the equation equal to 0 by subtracting x squared. So 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 4. And that becomes an equation to solve for x. Now to solve this, it doesn't factorise, so I'll use the quadratic formula, which we know to be this minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 lots of a. And for this equation, a is 1, b is minus 2, and c is minus 4. So let's now solve the equation. And we'll leave our answer in terms of a third. So x equals, so minus b goes to plus 2, change the sign of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 2 squared is 4, minus 4 times a times c, all over 2 times a, all over 2. So that becomes 2, plus or minus the square root of, now be careful here, minus 4 times minus 4 becomes plus 16. So 4 plus 16 goes to 20, so root 20, all over 2. Then to finish off, this third can be simplified. If I just go over here, look. Root of 20 is root of 4 times 5, and root of 4 is 2. So this becomes 2 root 5. So the answer is 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 all over 2. The 2s then all cancel and it becomes 1 plus or minus 1 root 5. So x has got two options, 1 plus or minus root 5. However, because these sides must be positive, if x is 1 minus root 5, then this side becomes negative, which we can't have, so therefore we'll just take the positive solution as our answer. 
1 plus root 5.